How's everyone doing? Mike here from Canadian Cards, and um, I just wanted to uh, shoot a little video um, inspired by uh, JT, Triple Crown 24. I just watched his video about um, why he was um, Miguel Cabrera collector, and um, great video, by the way, JT. He, he mentions in the video that... Um, he, um, you know, his, his dad has passed away, but, um, you know, some memories with his father at Tigers games and stuff like that and autograph seeking and that. And I just thought that was really cool. And, um, you know, my father-in-law or my wife's stepfather, uh, passed away. He was the only other person in the family, uh, that cheered on the Montreal Canadians like I did. Uh, still do, uh, even though they're not having, well, they've come out of their little tailspin there, but, um, so, um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna add a, uh, a photo, uh, some of you guys have seen my man cave, and I've kind of redid, uh, one image, um, in a shadow box, uh, my mother-in-law gave me, um, his Montreal Canadiens mug, which I will not use. It sits in my uh, man cave as part of, um, you know, my Habs collection. Um, and at the end of the video, um, there's I'll put in a, a photo of um, um, a shadow box that I did. It was his old Montreal Canadiens jersey. I always asked him why why he never put a number on there like did he not have a favorite player or he said he did and it was Maurice Richard but he just he just wanted his last name on the back of the jersey it was pretty simple and uh so I, I I've got a tribute there with a, a photo of John and uh an autograph photo of Maurice Richard that was also handed down to me by my mother-in-law which uh takes its place in the man cave and uh pretty pretty uh happy and proud uh to have that so i just pulled out some montreal canadians cards from the 70s because that's when i got involved um and i'll just show those off and uh so i picked this up in one of jimmy gunn's auctions this is a 1971 tops ken dryden rookie card uh when i was a kid ken dryden you know, when we played street hockey or road hockey, for some reason I always wanted to be a goalie and um, always em tried to emulate him and just because I thought he was a fantastic player. So um, probably in my next submission, I'm going to send that in for grading. Um, great centering on it. A couple of touches on the corners, but... Um, I don't care what it comes back as, um, you know, if it comes back a two or a three, I'd be happy. Um, but there's no creases, so just something I'll show there. And, and I'll stack these cards accordingly. This is something that I showed off uh, from my last PSA reveal. Uh, Henri Richard, 1973 Opeachy in a PSA 8. So I'm just going to, I've got about 10 or 11 cards. Um... KSA is a grading company um, in Canada. They're, they do a lot of stuff. You may see some of their stuff on, on eBay, but um, a couple of shows ago, I found one of these in a clearance bin for like five bucks. And uh, Gila Fleur in a KSA 6, 74, 75 Opeachy. For five bucks, I couldn't go wrong. Um, I may have to move some of these. Uh, 1974 Opeachy Canadian Team Leader card, uh, PSA 8. We've got Yvonne Cornwaye, Frank Mahovlich, and um, uh, Claude LaRose. There's a name for any of you Hab fans. Um, pretty good shape. Got a print dot up here. So I don't know if this would have um, triggered a 9. Um without the print dot like i can't really see how i know it allows for minor defects but 
who knows it does look off center top to bottom and it's got that print defect but other than that it's a, a gorgeous card you'll see a lot of the same players um here's a 75 tops team team leaders card uh you've got Guy Lafleur, uh frank mahovlich's younger brother uh pete mahovlich uh lafleur pretty much in the mid 70s dominated the scope of uh montreal canadians hockey so i'll just throw that aside and then i've got a bunch i've got a, a stack of cards here from uh, the Gretzky rookie year uh, from 1979 tops. Uh, this is an 8OC um, uh, NHL scoring leaders. It's got uh, Guy Lafleur finishing third behind uh, Trache of the Islanders and Marcel Dion. Um, another Guy Lafleur 79 tops. Another 8OC. Um, just his uh, first team All Star. Uh, a couple more leader cards. These are the assist leaders where Lafleur finished second uh, in a PSA 7. Really nice card, actually. Uh, this is the goal leaders. Lafleur finished third. Uh, some of you may wonder, like, this is the 78 79 season, the leader card, right? This is the year after. Um, the year these came out, this was Gretzky's rookie year, and uh, I think he finished uh, second to Dion in points, but Dion got the actual title because he had more goals. Um, so, not bad for a 18-year-old kid. Uh, Ken Dryden, also an OC, 8 OC. Got a bunch of these tops um, at... Uh, uh, a card show oh probably about four or five months ago just haven't shown them off um they were all in a, a value box and uh couldn't resist and the last one i picked this one up on ebay when i got back into collecting um this is a beautiful 1983 opeachy gila fleur in a psa gem mint 10 um just an outstanding card um picked that up a while ago and i just think it's it's beautiful gila fleur was another one of my uh heroes growing up so anyways hope you guys are having a good week um up to about 190 subscribers uh probably gonna be having another contest my 200 contest so um i gotta think of something i may um I, I don't know if I'll wait till after the holidays. It's a pretty busy time of year. So, anyways, uh, like, sub subscribe. Feel free to leave your comments. Look forward to reading them. And we'll talk to you soon. Take care.